Welcome back ladies and gents to another TPM tactical video. Today's video is going to cover off on how to modify a workshop mission. So just the basics anyway. Uh, if you are enjoying the videos, please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Okay, so as you can see, I've got Armory Forge open here. Just going to go into the workshop. I've already uploaded a um, example or test mission uh, for the purposes of this video. So here we are. Example mission, so I'm just going to download that now. Sweet, downloaded all 4.5 megs of that. And I'm just going to close down Armour of Forger now. Okay, so if you're ever looking for your actual mods where they download to on PC, they go to your C users, um, your username, documents, my games. So, and then into Armour Forger. Um, if you're working on anything, it goes into Armour Forger Workbench. It's Armour Reforger, add ons. Um, and the mission I downloaded was Example Mission. So it should be sitting in here. Example Mission, here we go. So that's the mission we just created, I had created earlier and just downloaded. Okay, so I'm just going to launch Armour Reforger Tools. Here we are. Okay, so I've downloaded that mod, uh, which I showed you previously. So I'm just gonna add it into my project at the moment. So add existing project. Oh, uh, was example mission. So again, when you click add existing project, you navigate back to that same location that I talked about previously. Sample mission, double clicking on the uh, G project, game project, and here it is here. So it's been added to my workbench launcher. So now I'm going to create a new project. So this is going to be my mod, which I'll have to create. And then the example mission will be the um, dependency. Uh, let's call it better example mission and click create. Here we are, we've loaded into the workbench. I'm just going to wait for up the top left here for these to not be grayed out. So it's all synced to the workshop. I'm going to click on options. And here we are, so dependencies. I hit the plus. Going to click on these double dots and navigate to the mod. So again, it's going to be in your C users, username, documents, my games, armor forger, add-ons. Uh, looking for example mission. Um, here we are, example mission. And here's the add-on game project. Double clicking on that. And you can see it's been added here. So I'm clicking OK. Workshop, save, just going to close the workshop and uh, relaunch, not workshop, sorry, workbench. Uh, relaunching Armour Forger tools. Here we are now, so I'm just going to double click on that. Alternatively, I could have selected and clicked open down the bottom right. Uh, but as you can see up here now, we have the example mission mod, which is this dependency, which you can see here. Um, and it's locked, so you can't modify anything in here. But we can uh, do overrides, we can um, open the world. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the world editor. I'm going to file, load. I'm going to navigate to the mod dependency. So this is the example mission I've downloaded. As you can see, again, it's locked. I can't change anything within this uh, world, within this folder structure. So here's the example mission. I'm going to select that and click OK. Okay, so here is the uh, the mission. Very exciting stuff, as you can see. So we have two military base, correction, three military bases. Base one, base two, base three. Being this one over here in the corner. Um, and the game mode manager, or game mode managers and different managers that are required for conflict. Um, so what I could do is I could hit play. And then I can load in as normal to test the actual uh, workshop mission. Awesome. So just exiting back out, going back into the world editor. So what I want to do now is I want to select this layer here. So I've left clicked on it and now I'm going to right click and go select all entities. So that's selecting everything below in that layer. I'm now going to go to edit and then copy. I'm going to hit file and I'm going to load a world. 
Because this is on Arland, I'm going to load the Arland world. So there's two different empty, oh, there's an empty world and then this is an Arland world, plus all the other missions. So empty has no trees, no buildings, uh, but it has like just your ground foundation, grass, etc. cetera. Arland um, has all the other trees, buildings and whatnot. So I'm selecting just the Arland version. If you're doing this for another map mod, uh, you would just utilize the base world um, like we just done here. Um, so as you can see, it's got the default layer with all the random entities, prefabs and whatnot. Um, okay, so we can't do anything at the moment because the world is locked. So what we want to do is we want to add a sub scene. So we're going to file, new world, sub scene of current world. So that's kind of like a scene or kind of like, like a layer over the top where you can actually add all your managers. You can start to m not modify, but you can add on top of the current world. Um, so here it is, it's currently unnamed. I'm gonna go file, save world as, and because these are locked, I can't add anything into it, but I'm gonna put it into my better example mission. Uh, so you should get into the habit of having your own structure. By default, you should have a worlds folder. Uh, you should also, you should also have a missions folder. And I like to have a images folder as well. Uh, okay, so I'm selecting, so this is my mod, my, my project. I'm selecting the worlds folder. I'm gonna give it a name, so better uh, example mission. Awesome, so now we have the uh, new scene here, the sub scene, and we have a layer. So previously I selected all the layers uh, in the, the example mission. I'm now gonna go to edit. There's two options, so you can paste or paste on same position. So you want paste on same position. And this will paste everything down in the exact location that it was on the previous mission. Oh. What is it doing? Take me back out. Um, okay. Uh, this little star here means that there's something in here that's not saved. So I'm just gonna hit Control S to save it. Okay, as you can see, these are now no longer grayed out and we can actually manipulate these and start to make the modifications. So maybe we want, we don't like where this, uh, is this, I think this is a HQ. Uh, where is it? Yep, so it can be HQ. So this is the HQ and then this is the other HQ and this is like the capture point. So maybe we don't like where this HQ is located and we want to move it all the way over here. Control S, saving it. Uh, this other HQ, don't like where that's located. I wanna move it over to here. But it's now outside the coverage uh, for the net to get to link the HQ to the capture point. So I just want to extend that quickly. Uh, coverage radio, let's make that 1500. Sweet, covers that capture point. Um, I don't know, like, don't like where this is located. So I'm gonna move this one as well. Maybe I want it sitting in here between these, um, these bunkers. Whenever you move something, always right click on it and go snap to ground uh, to make sure it is back on the ground. Um, okay, so that covers both. Just make sure these all cover each other to link together. Yep, so the idea of this little mission is this links to this one, the capture point, and then the other team would capture that point as well. Uh, links to the other capture point. Uh, maybe you want to modify the game, uh, the faction manager, and you want to change the name of one of the factions. So say you have the US team here, you want to change the actual name of the faction, so the UI info is what you want to change. Maybe you want it to say something else. Um, what's the name we could use? I would just call it US PMC. Um, and then do the same thing here in upper. US, whoop. US PMC. Can't type. Oh, geez. US PMC. There we go. Um, everyone change the Russian one as well. Um, bear. Pretty sure that's one of the names of um, Escape from Tarkov, I believe. Anyway, change the UI information for those two factions. You can go through each one of these now. Um, you can modify all the different settings. It's all open to you to modify. So let's just quickly hit play anyway just to confirm that it has moved and uh, applied those changes. So as you can see here, USPMC, uh, bear. So it's applied those, uh, those faction names from the UI, uh, UI info. 
Um, and as you can see, now the base is here. It's located it over to the um, northeast from where it was previously. And this capture point has been moved within the bunker. Between the bunkers, sorry, not within the bunker. Oh, that's great. Not time. And the other capture point's been moved over. Correction, the um, HQ's been moved further to the uh, south southwest. So once you've gone through and you've made all your changes to the mission that you want to modify, um, we need to make sure that's saved. And so what's the world called? It's called Better Example Mission. So take note of that. Now we're back here into the original um, window. We want to go into our missions folder. Uh, correction, that's example mission. So you can see there's a example mission header already here. So SCR mission header campaign, which is your conflict. Uh, you can see this is already pre-done, which I created earlier, um, but the mod that you download would have all these already filled. So in here, we're gonna go into missions. We're gonna create one from scratch. So we're gonna right click, config file, better mission, oh, what's it called? Better example mission. Example mission. Click OK, SCR underscore mission header campaign. Open that up. Awesome. So here it is now. So the world. So we want to click on these two dots and we want to navigate into our mod that we're our project and the better example mission world. Selecting that. I want to give it a name. Better example mission world. Oh, I imagine better example mission author. Chuck in your name. Description, words, whatever words you want to put in there. So you do need to change these by default. Uh, so for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just simply going to use the images already uploaded into here. Otherwise, you'd go into your own images folder and you would um, upload your own images. Actually, stuff it. I will show you that quickly. Let me locate a mission correction. A image. Um, Let's, I'll just use this one. So Atlas icon, um, I've uploaded it, simply click and drag it in. It comes in as a JPEG, uh, that's the file that I use. It changes it over to EDDS. Um, so I'm gonna double click on this. As you can see, it's a bit blurry. Um, it is only a small size. It's not designed for, to go into this uh, template, but it's just what I'm using as a demonstration. Always click on import settings change this from format compressed to best from fastest and change this um, color space to srgb once you've done that re-import okay i'm just going to close that down now i'm just going to drag these across again these need to be a certain size this is going to look really bizarre on the uh, workshop but for the purpose of this demonstration that's what i'm using um, okay so game mode it's been a conflict, number of players, uh, let's just do 64. If you want AI and vehicles to spawn, make sure you have these ticked. If you want it to be able to be saved uh, so that your mission loads after server restart, put his, um, his saving enabled and give it a uh, save name. Example, what's it called? Better, better example mission. Um, none of this other stuff I modify unless you're trying to override some of the uh, world editor settings that you've already applied. Um, I just leave it as default for the majority of the time. So control S to save it, make sure we're good to go. Uh, okay, so go to go into publish to workshop. Better example mission. Um, you do need a preview image. Uh, so, can I, nope. I have to get that externally. So let me just go grab a random logo. This one works. Um, if you have a contributor in here, you can put in their email, um, whatever the email address is, just type it in there. So categories, the scenario multiplayer, tags, gonna put TPM, oh, TPM so I can easily find it. Um, depending on the license that you want to choose, you would have to look up that. Uh, most of the time it's just APL. Uh, if you're using stuff like RHS, so de definitely check their EULA. Um, but all the time it's this here. So no, uh, no derivatives. Uh, whether you want it public, unlisted or tested. Um, change it to 0.0.1. .0 .1. 
um, words if you want to put something in here uh, it's always good if you are using a someone else's mission you know give them thanks for creating the original mission it's just a bit of a bit of common courtesy um, let's go words again okay so now I'm gonna go publish yep the whole uh, 0.8 megabytes awesome now it's published to the workshop I can close this down. I can launch armor again. And we should be able to find it in the uh, workshop. But our uh, example mission. Here we are, so better example mission. We go inside, words, words, uh, mod scenario. So and I spelled example wrong. Um, this is the scenario that we've created in there. And as you can see, it's got a dependency linked back to the example mission. Uh, we can also cross check that if you want to actually check it on the website. Rank it to the last page. Hopefully it will be there. Yep, so there we go. Better example mission. And as you can see, this is the mission we created. Here's the scenarios listed inside. Uh, and it's got its dependency and the words and the license that you selected. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to chuck it in the comments below. Um, again, please like and subscribe and um, if you have any more requests on videos, please uh, leave in the comments. Cheers.